Hello everyone, I'm Vincent Dio from HDTV Test here. In this video, we're going to analyze the HDR picture quality of Mad Max Fury Road. Now, I know this movie is not new. It probably came out in 2015-2016, but I thought there were quite a few interesting aspects to the 4K Blu-ray disc that may be worth your attention, which is why I'm doing this video. Now, I'm going to be using the Atomos Ninja 5 monitor recorder to analyze the HDR luminance within this movie. But I think some of you in my previous video, when I talked about HDR luminance, you suggested that I should be using DaVinci Resolve, the grading software, to obtain a more precise NITS scale. So that's what I'm going to do. Thanks a lot for your suggestion. Let's jump right in. So this is a customized workspace that I've set up in DaVinci Resolve. It is the editing and also color grading software that I normally use from day to day to produce my YouTube videos. So I've loaded a clip from Mad Max Fury Road, the 4K HDR version here. And this is the clip that has the famous flame shower guitar. And what I wanted to First of all, I'll explain is the waveform analysis screen with the NITS scale. So if you remember my previous video talking about HDR luminance, the Atomos Ninja 5 monitor recorder only present the data in terms of video stimulus. But here we have managed to adjust the scale such that it represents the NITS or the luminance. So you can see here it would be 100 nits and each additional bar would be an additional 100 nits. So let's say here 200 nits, 300 nits, 400 nits, 500 nits, 600 nits and all the way to 1000 nits and then this will be 2000 nits, 3000 nits, 4000 nits all the way up to 10,000 nits. And in addition what we can do is to try and set up a reference level where we can set an additional line of 4000 nits here so you can see it will give us a good reference for analyzing the HDR luminance that are present in every single element on screen so let's scrub forward a bit and you can see here that the flames of the guitar probably reached around 4,000 nits. Now to make this slightly clearer, what we can do is to brighten the waveform. And maybe we would like to use the extent function in DaVinci Resolve as well. What this will do is to provide a clearer range, the maximum value that each element on screen will reach. So you can see some bits here actually exceed 4,000 nits around here. And my close colleague Adam Fairclough, who also goes online by the nickname of Evil Boris, he has kindly lent me his expertise in terms of the HDR luminance heat map that he normally uses to analyze HDR games. So if I can turn on the heat map here, you can see that again, the flames and the guitar and certain reflective components on screen, they will be extremely bright corresponding to the nits that is represented on the waveform. So let's scrub forward a little bit. And here you can see that there are various elements that may go even beyond 4000 nits. Now what I wanted to focus here would be this really shiny reflection here along the vehicle and whenever i watch mad max fury road i have never failed to be impressed by this reflective light here and the reason is because it's very very close to 4000 nits even probably exceeding 4000 nits and if we actually go to the parade screen you can see that the blue subpixel actually goes very very close to 10,000 nits and this is why in the metadata of the disk itself the max CRL is actually more than 9,000 nits actually very close to 10,000 nits and it is caused by 
this blue subpixel here. So if I actually scrub forward and backwards, you can see that you know it is this blue component within this reflective. Again, let's use Adam's heat map to visualize. You can see that it's around three thousand, and then jumping up to four thousand nits. You know for the reflections along the vehicle here so if i turn this off and if i can swap to the waveform oh i need to explain to that you know for the waveform i'm only focusing on the luminance you know i'm not using the rgb if i switch to rgb then it will actually represent all the rgb components on screen but we are only focusing on luminance at this moment so you can see that it is close to somewhere between 3000 and 4000 it's probably 3500 nits here but if you take the individual component the blue subpixel goes up to near 10000 nits which is why the max CRL is close to 10000 nits on this particular disk but let's go forward again if I turn on the heat map here you can see just how impressive the HDR impact is on this particular scene okay let's go on to the next scene which is the sandstorm scene and if I can first of all switch the heat map off so that we can analyze the waveform in the first instance so the lightning around say 3000 nits turn this on and then we go forward probably should try and find a bookmark function in DaVinci Resolve to help me through this but let's try I swear there was an extremely bright scene somewhere right just around here okay you can see that it's 4000 nits and it's exceeding 4000 nits by a bit if we go to the parade it is still 4000 so the max CL of above 9000 nits was actually generated by the previous scene where the reflection is but in this lightning scene you can see that if we analyze just the luminance and if we turn on the heat map it's just you know <laughs> So yes, I think this is a disk that fully utilizes the HDR luminance. I think, you know, Mad Max Fury Road, the 4K Blu-ray disk, first of all, I like using it because it's got a killer Atmos soundtrack, one of the best out there. And also, there are several elements within the movie itself that allows me to immediately tell whether something is off with an HDR display or not. So because of the 4K upscaling process, the film grain is probably on the heavy side so if you have a tv that can't produce clean hdr then the film grain would be exaggerated or if you have undefeatable edge enhancement the film grain would look extremely noisy there are other things as well but i digress let's focus on the task at hand which is to analyze the hdr luminance so if we go forward right again i think uh, i saw a lightning flash here so reaching 4000 nits right and then if we turn on adam's luminance heat map right you can see it here right see these explosions
Okay, so that's the desert sandstorm scene and the next one that I want to just pay attention to. I remember being quite impressed with the sun in this particular sequence here because I think when I first got into reviewing HDR televisions, I started comparing HDR Blu-rays and SDR Blu-rays and I think the sun here showed significantly less clipping than the SDR counterpart and that's why I wanted to just find out how bright this is and it is not as bright as I thought it is only around 500 nits if you look at both the heat map system here and also if you pay attention to the waveform it probably reaches around say 200, 300, 400, 500 around 500 nits which is verified by the heat map as well so there you go this is a very quick I say quick but we've probably run for about what 10 minutes plus analysis in terms of the HDR luminance of Mad Max Fury Road so hopefully you found this video useful now I don't know whether this video will gain any traction because I think my previous video talking about HDR luminance using the Atomos Ninja 5 only gained around 15,000 views so I'm not entirely sure whether an old movie like this will be able to generate much interest among you guys but let me know your thoughts about my analysis, our analysis in fact, together with Adam Fairclough, Evil Boris, my close colleague who worked together on HDR analysis on this channel. Let us know your thoughts and what other titles you would like us to analyze. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.